Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve this look using tons of new product. It's such an exciting time for beauty right now with so many new launches, and I have a lot of different things in front of me that I've never used before. All right, so I'm just gonna jump right into this. I don't really have a plan per se as to what look I'm gonna create. I'm just kinda gonna freestyle it and just see what happens now the goal here is to hopefully not have to reach into my makeup bag to one of my staple items being that a lot of the things that I'm using today are brand new but I'm so excited to play with everything that's right in front of me I have some really really exciting new items that have been taking over social media and you guys are excited for me to use them so I have to come through for you guys I'm gonna start off my makeup by priming my skin using this NARS pore and shine control primer so a little goes a long way with this baby I'm gonna use very, very little, mainly like more where I tend to get a little bit more oily, which is like my cheeks, my nose, and a little bit of my T-zone. Excuse the curly haired mess. I've honestly been digging like my natural curls lately, so whenever I wear my hair like this, I just like to let it dry naturally, and um, I'm trying to avoid putting too much heat in my hair, so I normally just let it air dry as I'm doing my makeup, so if I look a little crazy, don't mind me, I will get the wig together at the end. All right, so now that I have that primer on, my skin is feeling nice and smooth, ready for foundation. I'm so excited to try this foundation. This is a new brand named Flesh. How stinking cute is this little component? I love that it's like a skin tone. Um, I've been seeing this brand all over social media and they're basically supposed to have like their own version of like nude products for every single complexion. So they're really, really striving to be an inclusive brand and I absolutely love that. I'm gonna go in with shade number 19, which is coconut. Okay. So this is my first time using this foundation. You guys know I love foundation sticks. I love anything that's like creamy. That is all the way my jam. You guys know I'm a full coverage queen, so I'm really hoping that this isn't gonna let me down and it's gonna give me the coverage that I want. I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and just kind of stipple everything out. Okay, it's actually blending out really, really nicely. I'm actually really happy with this shade. You guys know I typically like to be slightly more tan, um, but I'm really, really happy with this shade. I feel like this shade is pretty spot on with something I would gravitate towards. You guys, I'm like kind of shook. I'm really, really, really liking the coverage. I'm liking the texture. I'm really liking what it's doing to my skin. I think Miss Flesh might actually be a winner. I think I might have to throw her in my makeup bag. All right, gonna apply a little on my forehead. Gotta move these curls out of the way. Here we go. You guys see how nicely it's just like smoothing out on my skin. Like it's literally making my skin look so flawless, so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add a little tiny bit more on my cheeks, just a tiny bit, just cause I have a little bit more pigmentation in here. But as far as layering it, you can definitely layer it and add more and it still looks nice and flawless. It looks nice and smooth. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. All right, so I'm good with the coverage and how it looks. So first impressions, definitely a keeper for me, definitely a winner. I obviously have to see how it performs, but right off the bat, I'm really happy with how this looks. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using for the first time this Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. Now you guys know that KKW Beauty has been my jam. Before that, kind of shape tape took the crown. So uh, I don't know, I have high hopes for this concealer. Let's see. So just right off the bat, I think it's a really big kind of like bulky component. I typically for concealers like something a little bit more sleek. This kind of kind of feels more like a foundation to me. It's a little bit bigger than what I am used to. Um, the actual applicator is a pretty big tip, almost really reminiscent to Miss Shape Tape, um, but I'm not mad at it. I actually like it. I'm going in with shade Nude. Let's see. What happens? So really quickly, I just wanted to compare these for you guys so you know exactly how much product you're getting. Miss Shape Tape says that she has 0.33 fluid ounces. Miss KKW Beauty says 0.16 fluid ounces. And this Too Faced concealer is 0.50 fluid ounces. So this definitely by far has a lot more product than these. So let's see how it performs. 
All right, so right off the bat, the consistency definitely feels a lot th more thicker than other concealers that I've used or that I'm used to. So let's see how she blends out for us. I'm just gonna take the back side of my beauty blender. So it's definitely blending out nicely. It does have a nice smooth blend and it's a lot of coverage. Like, I mean, she's opaque. She's definitely for a full coverage girl. If I had to compare it to either Shape Tape or the KKW Beauty Concealer, it's definitely a lot more like Shape Tape. I feel like Shape Tape's a little bit more, she's more dense, she has a little bit more weight to her. I kind of feel the same about this concealer. It's definitely creamy, it's definitely thick, but if you blend it out nice and evenly, you shouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah, so she's, she's, she's full coverage. She's definitely full coverage. As far as the shade goes, I think maybe I should have gone a shade slightly darker because I feel like it kind of made me look really fair under their eyes. So I'm just going to go back in with this flesh foundation stick. I'm just going to kind of rub some on my inner hand like this and I'm going to take my beauty blender, pick some of it up and just kind of stipple over it just to kind of, you know, warm it up a little bit. So, so far, I have to say, I do like this Too Faced concealer. If you like something more natural and lightweight as far as the concealer goes, you might not like this. But like I said, I'm super full coverage. I want something that's like wham bam, thank you ma'am, and that's just gonna like, you know, do its job. So I like it so far. I think it's just gonna depend on how it kind of looks and feels with a setting powder. Which today I'm gonna to be using the brand new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powders. I grabbed two different shades. Pound Cake um, is the lighter one that I grabbed. Banana Bread is the one that's a little bit more deeper. Um, I'm gonna try Banana Bread because it does kind of look like it has a little bit more of a yellow undertone. I'm also gonna be using the brush that was included in the PR package. This is the Face Bake and Blend Brush. Um, it feels super, super, super soft. And normally with baking, I like this kind of brush, like this shape and this density. So we're gonna open her up. You get a lot, like this is a, a lot of product, you guys. This is 20 grams worth of product. You get a lot of product in here. We're gonna open her up. Ooh. Mm. Can I just say this smells so amazing. I don't even know what I would, what I can compare this to as far as the way that it smells, but it just smells really nice, almost sweet, if you will. Mm, I, I like this. So I'm gonna pick some of that powder up with my brush and I'm just gonna be working straight from the little tube. And I'm just gonna press this under my eyes, just like so. Wow, that looks so good. It definitely set that concealer. I can definitely see the texture change. Like you can see this texture in here just looks like really nice and airbrushed and matte. As to over here, obviously it's still not set yet, but right off the bat, it looks really smooth. It looks really airbrushed. It doesn't look blotchy or anything. So first impressions, I actually really like this powder. This seriously smells so good. Whatever, whatever you put in this Huda, can everything please smell like this? Now, there is a lot of fallout. You guys can see there's like powder everywhere, but that obviously will just depend on the amount of powder that you guys pick up. I kind of recommend that you kind of like tap off the excess so that it's not kind of going all over the place. So again, I like to apply these setting powders with a brush, but a lot of people prefer more of like the baking method. Just for the sake of showing you guys what that is, I'm just gonna do it really quickly. So normally when I do bake, I just pick it up on a beauty blender and I just press underneath the eyes. So what baking technically is, is more of a technique of applying the powder and letting it kind of sit there for a few minutes to essentially really set whatever area you're setting it over. Being that this is my under eyes, I kind of just let it sit there for a minute and then I just dust off the excess. This technique, I wouldn't use it for like an everyday thing. This is kind of something that I go to more when it's like a photo shoot or like a red carpet or like an event. 
something where I like really need my makeup to stay on like all day long. As far as the consistency of the powder itself, I do feel like it's nice and light and really finely milled, so it doesn't feel too heavy and chalky. I'm just really hoping that there's no flashback. I will definitely let you guys know if there is any. For today's bronzer, I'm gonna be using, of course, my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium Tan, but as of lately, I've also been obsessed with this Patrick Star and MAC Bronzer in the shade Give Me Life, so I'm gonna be using a combination of both. I'm gonna start off with that Medium Tan shade first and just kind of buff into my cheeks. Don't forget to get your temples. Okay, forehead doesn't really matter because it's gonna be covered with the curls. I always like to under highlight to really give myself a little definition. So I'm just picking up a lighter shade and just getting under here. You see, you see that witchcraft and wizardry I do? All right, and we're just gonna let her simmer. We're just gonna let her bake underneath here to really, really sculpt our cheeks. All right, so while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna move on to my brows. I've really been loving this Hourglass pencil. This is the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in the shade Warm Brunette. I'm just gonna start off with a little spoolie side to kind of groom through my brow. And I'm just gonna warm up this pencil on the back of my hand, just like so. This always just kind of helps the product to just kind of glide onto your brows a little bit better. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly fill in in any areas that my brows are looking a little bit more sparse. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So now that my brows are done, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I'm gonna be using these brand new Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadows. I actually really love working with creams when it comes to my eyes. So I'm really, really excited to use these babies. Now, a little tip for you guys. Whenever you guys are working with cream products on your eyes, I always find that synthetic brushes do a really great job at like blending everything out. So I'm gonna be using this synthetic brush. This is a Morphe brush. It was from like their Bling collection. I don't know if this is still a thing or not. Um, but I'm gonna be going in with this shade 720, which looks like a really pretty like mauve color. She looks like this. These actually very much remind me of like the MAC paint pots. When I worked at MAC, I loved using paint pots. It was always such a really quick, fast, easy way to get a lot of intensity with really minimal work. So I'm hoping that this is gonna do exactly the same thing. All right, so I'm just dabbing away, just kind of like all this foundation that's on my eyelid, kind of using it as a base, if you will. And we're just gonna start to apply this cream shade in the crease. So I'm just trying to really blend this out as much as I possibly can. This is just gonna work as like a transition shade for us. Now that I've applied it in my crease, I'm gonna actually switch to a natural hairbrush that this can actually absorb a little bit of that product and really give it a nice blend. Mainly using this towards like the edges of that color. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now that I've blended out that first shade, I'm gonna go in with another cream eyeshadow. This is also from Revlon. This is from their Bold Collection, and this is the shade 835 Emerald. I'm gonna actually apply this with my finger. I'm just gonna tap it onto my eyelid. So pretty. I'm gonna go in with a brush just to kind of stipple where that color stops to kind of give it a nice blend. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And this is what I love about cream shadows is you can literally go in and use them with your finger. They blend so nicely, they're so easy to use. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna be using this Revlon Color Stay Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Private Island. This is a little bit more kind of blue. I'm just gonna run this all in my lash line and also slightly below my lash line. Super, super, super smooth. Just gonna blend this out with a pencil brush. And with that pencil brush, we're also gonna pick up some of that emerald cream shadow. And we are lightly going to blend and diffuse it out. Gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. 
All right, so I'm loving everything that's happening on my eyes. I'm feeling this kind of like emerald vibe. I'm gonna pop on some lashes and some mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so I popped on some lashes off camera. I'm wearing a pair of blue lashes. This is in the style So Extra Miami. This is probably like <laughs> my 10th time wearing this specific pair. They probably look a little bit more um, chunky. Um, because I normally coat a lot of mascara on them So this is probably like literally after like 10 times of me using them, but I love these lashes um, I also forgot to contour my nose. So I did do that off of camera. We're gonna move on to highlighting my face I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Urban Decay All Matter spray all over my face first I'm so excited because I'm gonna be using this a brand new Charlotte Tilbury bar of gold palette. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Bar of Gold highlighter and I'm even more obsessed with this little palette and how stinking cute is it that it has my name on the mirror. Ugh, I die, so cute. So on this side, we have the original Bar of Gold and then we have two new shades right in here. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade right in here. I'm gonna take my go-to highlighting brush. This is a Morphe M509 and I'm just gonna pick some up from this side right in here. Now, this highlighter, I will say, it's like more of a metallic sheen. It's not so much like a pearl, if that makes any sense. So as you apply her, you'll notice that your skin just kind of picks up more of a metallic sheen. She's definitely a lot more subtle than some other highlighters that I like, but I do love that it does look like almost like a soft focus metallic sheen on the cheeks. That's probably the best way to describe it. Obviously, we can't forget our temples, even if we have the curls covering her. I'm also gonna add a little right in the inner tear ducts, just for a little pop. I'm gonna be going in with this brand new Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Gloss Stick. Now, when I got this, I was kind of shook because I thought that this was a lip gloss. And then when I actually opened it, to my surprise, it's actually like a lipstick. So it's super interesting, super deceiving, because I literally thought this was a gloss, but it was definitely a fun surprise. Now this was one of the more nude shades, so obviously I gravitated towards it. They are supposed to be super hydrating, so let's give this baby a go. This is in the shade Sugar Sugar 554. Ooh, wow. That's really interesting. It's very, 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 very smooth. And almost, you can almost feel it melting onto your lips as you're gliding onto your lips. It almost has like a little bit of a minty kind of vibe. Super, super subtle though. Obviously you guys can see the shine. It's like super high shine. Overall, she's definitely a lot more sheer. She's not super, super opaque, but it's super comfortable on the lips, super glossy, and I really, really like how it looks. Now to set my makeup, I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Look Lockup Setting Spray. I'm just gonna give my skin a couple of spritzies with her. Love the way this smells. All right guys, I'm gonna go fix my hair off of camera and I will be right back. Overall, I'm really happy with how this look turned out and how everything worked out. It's always really scary and intimidating using new product because I've been sabotaged before, but I definitely will use these products again. There's definitely a lot of things that I'm gonna throw in my makeup bag and make it a point to keep using and to keep trying. Before you guys leave, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that jazz, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.